Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. Listen, man, big block four-speed cars, especially in a full-size car, is a fast car. Throw in the big block and a four-speed in these little pony cars, and man, first off, do they go. Second, please be pointed straight when you get on the gas, because you never know what's going to happen next, all right? Anyway, it's one of those things I love is tuxedo black paint. you got to love black paint. I know everybody says, wow, man, I want a black car, but you have to put a little effort into getting a black car to be a beautiful black car, and I want to show you why. Most people don't understand, it's not the paint that you put on the car that gives you the black of it. Most of us can probably paint some black on wet sand out, whatever uh, dirt and dust there is in there, but really it's the body prep. It's what gives it that flat surface so that the black paint can really reflect off of it. And I get teased a lot because I show, you know, the paint quality of the car, but that's actually my signature, man. I want you to see if you're getting an ugly paint job, you need to know it. If you're getting a great paint job, you should definitely know it. Let's take a peek at this one and I'm going to let you decide. So come on up here for a second, all right? Now for me, when I'm looking at a car, if I can read every letter, if I can see the wrinkles in the plastic bag that's holding the decal in there, if I can see my watch crystal clear, it says to me, you know what, somebody put some time into that. They laid down the stripes on here, then they clear coated over all of that. So now I know my stripes are going to last me for a while, just like the paint will. And they put it on here and it just looks great. This way, uh, because a lot of people don't clear coat the stripes. And then when you wash and wax the car, the stripes start to tear and it just looks ugly. But uh, in this case here, everything seems to be uh, really, really nicely done. So anyway, some cool stuff on the car. Um, and it's, you know, a lot of authentic stuff, some stuff that may be uh, suspect to be original or not. And uh, I think that in this case here, like for, check that out. We got the call out sale, the SS396 badges. All right. It's really supposed to have the 396 uh, in a different location, but this looks really cool on the car. I don't hate it. So uh, we can change that if you like and just put the regular SS emblem on there. We have those in stock. You let us know, no big deal. But I do like to show some of this here because you know what? Like, look at, the, look at that right there. I want you to see, you know, everybody can make the top look nice, but what happens is a lot of people don't understand painters who've been working hard their entire lives after a while get tired of bending their knees. So they end up painting like this and then they turn up the pressure a little more and blow the paint down there. In this case here, somebody spent the time and they painted the car properly. The roof has great paint on it. Then you got your front and rear spoilers, which just look great on the car. All right, so you got uh, 15 inch rally wheels here with uh, the Indy Firehawks on there. I think it's a great looking tire. We do BFGs and we also do these sometimes. I think it looks really nice and different on the car. You got the tall center caps like you're supposed to. The short hats are only the 67 version. And then, uh, you know, 69 and on up for these. All right, uh, come on, let's keep walking around the car for a second. This is nice here. You got the SS call out underneath here. Check that out. You got the 12 bolt rear. You got to have the 12 bolts if you're going to have that kind of power. It goes to that four speed trans because uh, those shifts can come hard. The power can come even harder and the rear end needs to be able to stand up to that. And this car can definitely do that. OK, so uh, that's why I wanted to take a second just walking around the car so you could look at the fit and finish. You know, a lot of Camaros don't fit down here properly because they're unibody cars. Over time, they sag. In this case here, uh, the doors really, the fit is good. It opens and closes nicely. And those are some of the things that you need to be looking for, especially if you're looking online. I know you guys are looking online. Obviously, you're here looking online. But, uh, you know, get somebody to do the video for you. If this isn't the car for you, if you don't want to buy a car here at, uh, at my place, that's cool. Make sure you do the video, because if you're not willing to do the video, the video shows all the ugliness, if there is any. And uh, pictures can hide so many things. All right, all right. let's take a peek under the hood, because uh, we've rambled about uh, how glorious the exterior of the car is. And maybe you want to take this car to a show. Nothing wrong with taking this car to a show, because check this out here. All right, so. Nice big Mark IV big block V8 in here. Nicely detailed engine compartment. We do the battery toppers on here because they look really nice. And then we have the, uh, where we stamp the PTB there, paint, trim, and body. And that's kind of uh, just a signature that uh, people do when they're kind of like putting a show car together. I'm not suggesting that this is a, uh, a world-class show car, but this is exactly one of those great cars that you could take to a car show, be proud to own something like this, and it doesn't cost $125,000 to have this kind of fun, which is really nice. Little stuff like uh, cooling system decals, um, you know, little tiny things, like GM hoses, whatever, the right call outs for the engine, uh, you know, new sound insulation under here. 
so that you can open the hood or go with the kids to a car show or just drive the car, man. You do whatever you want, but the cool thing is it can perform all those tasks. All right, cool. So some of the restoration here, new taillight bezels, new chrome, uh, gas cap, locks, little stuff like that. You say, well, that's really nice. And of course it's supposed to have that stuff. Well, no, it's not supposed to have all that stuff. You can buy a car that looks kind of good in pictures. Once it gets there, the chrome around the taillights is pitted, the bumper's starting to rust, uh, the paint's coming off the SS gas cap. And the only reason I know that is because it happens to me all the time. And that's why I'm trying to send you a car that's a lot different than that, okay? All right, so fresh weather stripping in here, the right decals here for the jacking instructions. Um, uh, what is it? Oh, about this limited slip rear. The trunk is all detailed and painted. It's got a new trunk mat in it. Those are the kinds of things that I'm looking and hoping that the experience that you have with this car is will give you, and you'll have a lot of fun with it. Okay, so come on in here for a second. All right, it's kind of nice. Um, two small pieces missing out of this car I uh, I'd ordered. I ordered the pedal dress up for here, and I think it just looks so good. So I had one piece in stock, the uh, gas trim, but then we'll have the brake trim and the clutch and parking brake over there uh, to finish that up. Got the original style AM radio in there. Uh, this is a console with console gauges. Don't minimize that, man. This is a very expensive piece to put in a car. This can cost you well over $1,500 by the time you buy the console, get the gauges, get the gauge package, wire up all the gauges, and have all that stuff work. It's a big deal. The three-spoke wheel is a real wood wheel, uh, stainless and wood wheel, and I think it just looks great inside this car. This is just a great cockpit, you know what I mean? It's just one of those cool cars that looks great inside. Got lots of new parts in there, the dash cover, the door panels, rear view mirror, headliner, all that stuff. And, uh, and again, the, the white shifter ball, one of those final touches that a lot of people miss. I just think it looks so good in here. But anyway, how about I fire it up for you so you can hear what it sounds like? So we close up the video with this. We're talking about a big block four speed 68 Camaro. You got the 12 volt tuxedo black paint, the great white stripes on it, rally wheels, a rosewood wheel with the, uh, with the stainless, the console engages. I don't know, man. It's just for the money, this is just one great car. It's one of those cars that these cars continue to appreciate every year. Look at the, at the books that are out there. They continue to go up because they have great style, especially the big block four speed cars have great power. And uh, I don't know, I just think you could have a lot of fun in this car. It's an awesome, awesome piece. Call us 301-816-1000 and we'll tell you all about it. <laughs>